Hey, how you doing? Three weeks until Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League comes out. Yay. Oh, it's been over three years since they announced this game. It was announced back in the end of 2020. Oct I believe it was October 2020 it was announced because it was during the DC fandom, right? Uh, and that's when they were still announcing like, oh no, that's when they showed like a, a teaser for the Suicide Squad movie coming out. And uh, I think they showed a teaser for Gotham Knights, the game, of course, that came out over a year ago now. Uh, they showed the Batman teaser, you know, the one where it was like, oh, who are you supposed to be? I'm, I'm vengeance. You know, that one that beats up the guy. Um, what else did they show? I think they showed like a teaser for Black Adam. I could be wrong. I think they did. Uh, they showed a lot. To, oh, they showed a teaser for the... F no, no, no. That was in the... I was going to say the Flash, but that was a, that was a year later. Um, so, yeah, it's been a little while. Uh, Rocksteady hasn't made a game since 20... Technically 2016. I know everybody keeps saying 2015, but they did make Arkham VR. I, th I believe it was them. It, I'm pretty sure it says Rocksteady on the box, at least. I don't, know. I don't know if it was like a different part of Rocksteady. I don't know, but either way, it's Rocksteady. Uh, but really, they haven't made a full-fledged game since 2015. Almost 10 years. Uh, anyway, this is an IGN video called We Play Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and did not like it. So if IGN doesn't like it, you know you did you did good. And so this game's probably going to be a, a goatee contender, right? Well, every other video I've seen in my suggestions and, and subscription feeds um, pretty much are, are this. It's this face. It's this face. And then it's uh, right next to the face uh, of looking of like a disapproved face. It says, uh, uh, bad game is R this, and then it points it right at the box art. Um, so I'm going to assume not great. So anyway, let's, uh, even if IGN usually, you know, it's a funny joke. Oh, if IGN dislikes, that means it must be good. All right, let's just watch this video. Let's go. We played Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and did not like it. It came out a couple days ago, so I'm a little late, but, uh, whatever. Wow. Wow. Good start. Hold on. I'm sorry. No, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it down to 1080p because I'm gonna have to flip back and forth. Worth it. The best part of Suicide Squad killed the just. <laughs> Grab his butt. <laughs> That's, this league after that's pretty funny guys yeah i don't know that's pretty funny playing it for a few hours is the story and yes it certainly seems like you will be killing characters you know and love now if that happened to harley people would be making fucking 400 articles about how it's your face always looks so hey there's batman what lots of death happening here it looks that's so black a... what what? Wow, he said, she said, wow, that's racist, Harley. Jesus Christ. Here. That's also a big part of the problem. I oh, have is this like the, the intro premise. full on? I can't help but shake that there's no way Watch, the look. is going to let any of this stick. Our yeah, there's, have there's no way. Things. There will be so they just confirmed that Rocksteady, it, they, they are going to kill the Justice League. It's not just a subtitle that's like, oh, kill the Justice League, but you never actually do. So they just confirmed that, yeah, that does happen. Um... But does it really? Like, like, like the, the this guy doing narration said, like, like then none of this is gonna stick. Well, actually, I don't think you need to worry about it because this game's gonna flop so fucking hard. The Arkham verse is just gonna be done. I mean, it's already it, it, it. a time reversal mechanic or some alternate Earth timeline that comes along and washes away all of the terrible awfulness that happens during the story. <laughs> so just erase the entire script and all the characters. From enslaving a child form of poison ivy to straight up watching your heroes murder people, there's a lot here to make you feel a bit uncomfortable about the journey you're being taken on. Oh, I did it, okay? I put the bloody bomb in the head ages ago. What? And when you pair this disconnect with game mechanics straight out of the likes of oh. Destiny... And oh, oh, fuck Marvel, off. Avengers, God damn it. I already knew it was in there, but still, fuck you. Even the fucking loot box opening thing looks lame as shit. It looks like the fucking Battlefront 2 one. Final product coming together. Whereas you're like in a dark room, and I, I feel like a lot of the loot box ones are like that. Yeah. Anthem. Well, Marvel's that's what it reminds me of. I'm left worried about the final product coming together in a way that works. The fun just wasn't there for me. 
Yeah. That's what Arkham games were missing. Loot boxes. At least not yet. Let me explain in more detail. No, The story it sucks. has its fun yeah. moments, yes, and the team banter, at least during the cutscenes, is when Kill the Justice League is at its best. Awesome. Really? Aw, he's so sweet. <laughs> he's not gonna make it. The cutscenes have clearly been given a lot of love. Meanwhile, the character models look great, the voice acting is on point, and there are a lot of moments where I genuinely... I mean, graphically, it looks fine. Really looks good. And ...this could be enough to carry me through the messy and tired open-world missions. While they could reverse time to fix the morality issues at play, chances are that will be difficult given the... Right. I mean, you are playing as the Suicide Squad, so... ...and expansion, story additions, and gear chases coming later in the form of... Gear... Free updates. That means we'll be stuck with the terrible things that transpire, and if the name sticks, stuck with a dead Justice League. At one Yay! Who the fuck thought it was a good idea? All right, fine. We never had a full-fledged Justice League game. All right, here we go. Let's kill him. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, or who's gonna kill him? Like Superman's gonna go crazy, and we're gonna play Superman finally. Harley Quinn. <laughs> This is supposed to be the same Harley Quinn that was that that did her like four backflips and then Batman just grabbed her and threw her on the ground. <laughs> Remember that? Was that in was that was in beginning Arkham City, right? <laughs> was that yeah, that was Arkham City, right? <laughs> she did a backflip. When you go up to her village, she's like, alright, here we go. And he just pressed the button. Bitch! <laughs> This is the same one. I would just like to bring that up. Point the team. Technically, I guess. I don't know. I it's I don't see it exactly, but, but take whatever. Bomb in the head of Poison Ivy, who just happens to be a child. But hey, they punch Boomerang for putting a bomb in her head. So let's move on from that whole enslaving a child thing. <laughs> oh, fuck her. Whatever. Dude, what the fuck? I put a bomb in her head. What's up? We got bombs in our heads. It's only fair. I get it's Poison Ivy and this is kind of Waller's thing, but I'm using it to illustrate a point. All of these things in one package feels like an odd mix. Rocksteady had a winning formula with the Batman games and is trying to write a complete... Yeah, but you only won for so long. ...a new book. But so far, Lightning is not in this book. I mean, that looks fun, I guess, but like, what the fuck? Like... How long is it going to be fun to knock somebody up in the air and then shoot them with a bunch of a Gatling gun? It sounds like it should be always fun, but, like, how long is it going to be fun in this game? <laughs> like, really? Let's let it fucking get right down to it. Even, like, the best games of last year, like Spider-Man 2, after a little while, the combat started to get a little repetitive. I'm sorry. And this doesn't look anywhere near as good as something like that. Um, so, I... A live service game from Rocksteady is not... That's right. why Call of Duty games are perfect perfect for being, like, five, six hours long. I'm talking about just the campaigns. Because after a little while, it gets repetitive. But even that, like, Call of Duty knows how to change it up. This doesn't look like it's changing anything up. You know, Call of Duty would be like, all right, let's do a stealth mission. All right, here's a here's a, a, a vehicle mission. Uh, here's a... Uh, where you have to, like, blend in with everybody. Not really a stealth mission, but you have to, like, pretend to be, like, a, a an SS officer or whatever. Um... You know, like, so they change it up a little bit. I, I, I'm not seeing that at all in this game. Every time I see gameplay, it's just shoot the guy with the either the health bar or the one that's chasing you. Um, I don't know. Add on my wish list this year. The, Ar the Arkham games do that, by the way. They they change it up. Obviously, there's the stealth, there's the, the predator mode, and then the freaking uh, the combat. But then even the, the third game, you can say what you will about the, the vehicle, the Batmobile, while you're, like, going around and doing everything. But when you're using it as like a puzzle, like a like a thing to solve puzzles, that's awesome. I love it. Uh, I love it. And yeah, the racing stuff was pretty good too. I really like that stuff. Um, uh, whatever. The team and also you have like your gear too, which this looks like you probably have like power moves, which I guess. But like you use better, right? yeah. The combat's always fun. Look at like just being Batman is so much better than I have big gun. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Single-handedly responsible for making... All right, let me go back. ...far, Lightning is not in this bottle. A live service game from Rocksteady is not what I had on my no, wish list no, this year. No, The team is single-handedly responsible for making some of the best combat I have ever experienced. The Predator sections in the Arkham series also allowed you to tackle them with stealth or brute force, adding further flavor... Right, so yeah. ...favoring variety to Bruce Wayne's vigilantism. Uh, to this day, in fact, you can find ridiculous takedown montages yes. on YouTube and You'll TikTok. never, ever see a community of people do this with 
with uh, Suicide Squad. There's no for way. For Batman Arkham Knight. No way. Unfortunately for Suicide Squad, once the fun story bits end, you're left with a much less inspired combat system and an open world that's filled with tedious tasks that are more about grinding through traditional tropes like point defense or collect the material and turn it in. There are... Guys, just play Arkham City again. <laughs> just, dude, just pretend it's new. There are shining moments with the combat, such as the powerful feeling of takedowns, and there does seem to be some depth to the build variety, but you'll do it surrounded by teammates who won't sh- What the fuck was he just shooting the ground? ...shut up with their quips, which quickly- I thought, you, I thought you thought this shit was funny, huh? Uh, well, oh, you don't like it now anymore, huh? Oh, you don't like the quips? Comes well, sorry, we got some more for you, fucker. Uh, I was just kidding. I, I don't really like them. That's a chill, but... That's just my UX design. Sometimes it's to the point. Wow. Up with wow, the quips were so quippy that all of them were quipping. They're quips, which quickly becomes annoying. Feels good, man. That's just my UX design. Sometimes it's to the point Funny. that you'll get two to three lines of dialogue overlapping while you're just waiting for your crew at a checkpoint. And when the combat does start, it has its fun moments, but it also has weird issues like long animations to regen your shield, or you'll get knocked out of an animation for unclear reasons. I thought it was... Oh, no, that wasn't unclear. I saw what happened there. ...shield, or you'll get knocked out of an you hit by animation... The, you just got hit by the thing. By the pedal, right? Okay, no, actually, I guess you didn't. What is that? Is that a thing that you own? It's like a little orb thing <laughs> you own. Animation for I don't fucking care. Whatever. I thought it was just me, but it also happens in this provided footage straight from WB. While we have this provided okay. boss fight footage against the Flash to reference, I just want to mention that I found this fight incredibly annoying. There's no indication of where the... He's the Flash. How does this make any sense? Yeah, just keep shooting him. Is most time Why don't you just go... F Phew, and like slit all our throats. Like, I and he's the scum. Decoupler charged, shoot flash. Okay, so maybe that's why they're... Whatever. Well, it speeds through, so he's just constantly zipping around the map. That didn't make the fight hard, it just made it frustrating. You get a handful of shots on him before he teleports to the next location, so you're just trying to chase him down uh, or catch him standing in one spot long enough to get hits in before yeah. he does it all again. I'm not playing this game. <laughs> I do just wish not. there was a bit of a he's down, get a moment, but unfortunately, it seems like that trope wasn't uh, You used. know, like in every fucking boss battle ever, there's a moment where they go, oh, they're staggered, and you just sort of fucking wallop on them. Dude, I just played the shitty Avatar, the last Airbender game from last, last year that came out. Um, for my Gore Plays the Worst Games of 2023 series. Um, shout outs. Uh, and uh, even the boss fight with Zuko... That is terrible in the first like hour of the game. Is, is that has that you 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 wait until he's like staggered and you hit him. <laughs> oh. Now WB also sent over some footage of an experienced shark player wrecking shot. So I'll include some footage of their gameplay in this video preview to show what it looks experienced like. Experienced shark player. For hundreds of hours versus this is hundreds of hours, of hours right here. In the open world, however, missions tend to fit. I mean, sure, they played very well, but like, I feel like anybody that's really good at any game can make any game look a little bit better. You know, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know, someone who's really good at Lord of the Rings Gollum could probably make that game look a little bit better, like marginally better. Not like, oh look, oh they're going, do, do, do. oh they're stealthing around, oh wow, they they know how to play the game, you know. <laughs> They they play the game very well. Are like they were many of the tired. He just said a hundred hours too. Like you have to play a hundred hours to make 
the game look cool. And true types, which makes them feel a bit like uninspired filler. Like, stop me. Oh, oh, it feels like it? No, I, no, boy, everything I say is uninspired. If you've Not feels like. This one before, you defend a uh, It feels like it, but it also is. Two it. waves of enemies that spawn. How is that? Sound familiar? Now imagine every time you defeat a handful of these. Oh, it's almost like we just did this shit in Spider Man 2. Enemies, you just stand around waiting. It was like the weakest side mission in the entire game. With nothing to do. This was exactly what happened during one of the core story missions, and the padding feels completely unnecessary. When the next quest started, I stood there while Amanda Waller called my character on comms and bantered with Poison Ivy before sending me back to the other end of the map to save citizens in a flying I'm not wasting my time with this game. I'm sorry, there's too many games to play. I just got Baldur's Gate 3. I, I, I have Tekken I want to play. I... I like, Prince of Persia right here is fucking fantastic. Uh, Persona 3 comes out the same fucking day. Dude, there's even that Grand Blue, like, JRPG coming out that looks better. Like, I'm not wasting my time with this game. I'm just not buying it. No. Especially after everybody came out and said it's not good. I'm not wasting my time. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not playing this. This, this game is a, a waste of time already. I can fucking feel it. But, that Wait a minute. It, 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 it's possible it's still it's still gonna be good some way. Uh, but all signs are pointing to new. Like it's straight. it's not pointing to like it's gonna be terrible, but it's gonna be probably a waste of time. At a Fortnite. Fort oh yeah, the bus out of Fortnite. Bus that looked like it's straight out of Fortnite. I'm sure it's like something from the comic. At least the Riddler puzzles are making a return from the oh. games, bringing at least one familiar fun activity oh. to Suicide Squad's Metropolis. Okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Within this city's fiscal stash, Lex Luthor sits upon your cash. At least I hope they're fun because I didn't actually get to solve any of them. The they didn't give you one. That means they're not going to be fun. Uh, if they're hiding one of the best things about the other games, then I will say that I, I, love, I, I love most of Arkham Knight. And I do like those racing things for the most part, but uh, them kind of taking place of uh, taking the place of the Riddler um, riddles, I guess, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, right, they did. They took place the the place of those, right? Central City. I think so. And Grace, for all my gripes, could be that the whole combat system comes together a lot better when you get to sit down and actually make a build, which we didn't have a chance to do right away at the preview event. For some context, we started playing through the same tutorial from the beta and picking a character, Deadshot in my case. After right, I'm that, showing we... this gameplay again. I, I always remember this gameplay. Shoot the ground, shoot the ground. Okay. Jump straight into chapter three where I tried out Shark because the character. That whoever is playing this, I don't want to call Deadshot him out, my... but that's obviously someone that's used to auto aim. Because they thought immediately they pull the right trigger and it'll just immediately lock onto somebody. Playing through the same tutorial from the beta. So they start firing it instantly. Character. See? Deadshot Mike. They did it again. It's <laughs> twice that, in a row. Straight into chapter three where I tried out Which is fine. Hey, if that's what you do, that's what you do. Um, I don't care. I mean, I'd rather my journalist not do that, but whatever. I mean, the, the, the person I got this gameplay might not have been someone who writes reviews anyway, so. Because the character I had been playing on was taken. Could just be gameplay from whatever. Well, no, he's saying him, but also the one who wrote this might not be this guy talking. Also, might not be somebody who does reviews, but probably does, because if they do previews, I'm certain they do review. Fuck it. No. What I didn't realize was that Chapter 3 gives you complete build control, and having played on a different class, it took me a bit of our session to get warmed up to the new movement mechanics Shark has compared to Deadshot. If we look Let's back at the Divine Flash yeah. gameplay, it looks like the player has a good grasp at movement, but it all comes back to similar core mechanics. Aim gun, shoot gun, and those core mechanics in a game like Destiny really save it. Here, yeah, that was really my favorite part about the Arkham games is when Batman whipped out his gun. It just feels samey across the board, even with each character's ability sprinkled in. I didn't really get time to look at my gear stats and throw something together to try out, but I did try a build recommendation. Look at those numbers! Oh my god, they're so big! From Jack Hackett. Oh, they're so big! Production manager at Rocksteady. But again, I did Oh my really god, good. there's so many numbers! Trying to get used to how it's supposed to flow together. However, is that what Rocksteady wanted us to think? Like, oh my god, there's so many numbers! 
Fuck off. This excitement about the build possibilities does continue to give me a Whoa, point. big numbers. That means I did a lot of damage. You could tell I did a lot of damage because the the letters, the words were red. The numbers were red. The, the, I, got, I got wrong twice. Letters and words. <laughs> to give you a taste of what you'll be looking at in terms of complexity, there are weapon afflictions that attach an elemental yep. effect. We talked about that in the last fucking thing. The weapons yeah. like deep freeze that does cold damage for a period of time. Penguin. It took a long ass time to get out of that animation though. Did you see that? This is good. Two weapons. Like, wow. Well, and then he was like, ah. All right, back to it. Freeze. That does cold damage. Look how long that two. was. That was the longest fucking thing. Period of time. Dude, man, I would have thawed out by then. Thank God Harley was there to take care of him. Penguin will let you craft new weapons, shield mods, traversal mods, or grenades. And there are. I am so. F I'm just like so far done with this. Go to a weapon guy. He'd be like, hey, I'm going to stock a weapon for you. You do well. You get the weapon. And I'm so dumb. Like, I played the Avatar, the other Avatar game from last year. The one based on James Cameron's Avatar. Um, what was it called? Frontiers of Pandora. And immediately, I was like, I don't... I just, I, like, my brain was just like, I don't want to play this. <laughs> I just, I, first of all, it was boring as fuck to begin with. And second of all, I just didn't care. I just didn't care about exploring Pandora. Same place that people fucking were depressed about not being real back in 2009. I'm like, I don't want to fucking explore. Interesting okay. guns here, like bugs a poppin' that will not do damage to a terminot, but will slow down every enemy within 10 meters. And there was this. Ah, uh, so you have to keep swapping them whenever a terminot shows up. One slot machine grenade that was also pretty fun. Each character also has a skill tree they sure. can upgrade, and all of that is on top of weapons and mods that work together to give you passive buffs when you pair. I mean, there's going to be a lot of combos you can do, I'm sure. But... Two gizmo gear pieces together to do more burning damage, but with the trade-off that grenades do 50% less damage, but have a 100% chance to burn all enemies. I know I've been really hard on Suicide Squad and Kill the Justice League in this preview, and believe me, I really want to be wrong about it. Not only is Rocksteady one of my favorite developers, but this genre is one I've spent far <clears throat> too much time in across Destiny Was and the man, yes, even Marvel's Avengers. But while there is a story here that makes me wonder where the heck it's all going, I left the preview even less optimistic than when I came in. Here's hoping Suicide Squad wins me back when it releases on February 2nd. Are you excited about Suicide Squad? Let me know why I in hope the it's comments good. below. And for more on all things gaming, keep it right I here. I have no hope for it anymore, though. And honestly... Just checking. We're all seeing that thing, right? <laughs> it's because she's crazy. She thinks she's just seeing the crazy because she's crazy. She's crazy, guys. <laughs> uh, anyway, so there you go. Kill the fucking Justice League. Um, and did not like it from IGN. I figured I'd take a look at that. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Uh, everything I'm hearing, it just makes me not want to play it. It's especially February is so fucking insane already. The beginning of February, and then a couple things throughout February, and then of course the last day of February, we got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Rebirth, and then fucking March. Holy shit! Holy shit! There's like two big games that month. Well, there's actually three now because Alone in the Dark got pushed back to March. I think March, right? Uh. But, uh, oh, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Anyway, so we played Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and did not like it from IGN. Shout out. I even played it. I don't like it.